Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru. It is August 10th, 2023. I'm here for my Wordle and Quirtle of the day and for Spoil Your Dog Day. And when I first looked for pictures of spoiled dogs, I got a lot of pampered dogs. I don't think that's the same thing. I think this is how you truly spoil a dog. Look at how happy this little one is running next to best buddy in the whole world. That's how you spoil a dog. And I have the feeling people who look at this and think spoil dog, they spoil their dogs every day in just the right ways. So I'm going to start with the word spoil. And I have to tell you, I was spoiled yesterday. I, it would be miraculous if this were the word. So I'm just hoping to get it done because I, I'm a little bit nervous since yesterday went so very well for me. I think, uh oh, paybacks today. That's just how my brain works. Let's go ahead and see. Well, we got the P. That's actually not bad. That's more in line with what I'm used to seeing. So we know there's a P in the word. And then we've got other letters that are commonly used that we haven't tried yet, like R, T, N, E, I don't see how to make all of these into one word. What if we add the A and we do like prate? We'd be missing the N. Let's try prate. Then you can go, oh yeah, that's just like how she opened, prating on about dogs. Okay, so we still don't have the P place. That's surprising that it's not in the first spot. We got a T and we know that there's an E. So let's put this in and start looking at what other things we might want to try. So we know there's a green T right here that's placed. We know there's a P. Oh, this is interesting. It's not here. It's not here. So it has to be here or here, but TP? No. Tp. There's no word. There's no five letter word in the English language that I know of that it would end in a TP. I think I'm going to put it in blue, but I'm going to put it here. I, th I think it has to go there. Can't go there, there, or there. And I don't think it goes there. So that leaves the E either here or here. I think it's empty. I think it's empty. If we do this, what's going to go here? Well, probably a Y. PT what? Can't be E. So I think it, it is likely, very likely to be a Y. Empty. Hepty. Bepty. Nepty. Nope. Empty. I'm pretty sure it's empty. I'm 98.3% sure it's empty. Ha ha! And it is. That was really very fortunate that the P, that I tried the P in these two spots. Because it just really couldn't go there with the T placed. All right, so let's get ready for Quirtle. That one was not too bad. A lot better than I thought it was going to go. All right, so let's put in our four standard words for Quirtle. I like to use fishy, budge, clown, tramp. Of course, you don't have to put in four words. You could put in one word and then start trying to guess, but I, it takes me a long time. I like the quick route. I want that to be float, but it can't be float. We've already tried the F. The L doesn't go there. I don't know what that is. I don't know what any of them... Oh my goodness. How in the world? This one is probably rally. Right? I don't think it could be Ralky, Ralvy, Ralzy. And I think it's going to be R-A-L-L-Y. All right, let's try it. Phew, that one works. And that gave us an L. Is this... No, it can't be total. T doesn't go there. That's not in the right spot. Okay, still don't know about this. 
Let's go ahead and plug things in. I think I'm just going to need some more visual cues this time around. O, L. So we know there's also a T here or here. And we know there's an A here or here. Oh, atoll. Okay, A can go here, T can go here, O goes here, L goes here, we could have another L here. I know a lot of people don't know the word atoll because we have had this before and it has hung people up. Okay, so I hope it doesn't hang anyone up today. Let's take a look. Oh my goodness, how in the world? I, I don't know these. <laughs> how can we how can we put in now six words and we still have almost nothing here? Placed right anyway. Wait, what are we doing? Uh blue. Now let's do green. Let's try this one. This is bizarre. So let's see if we can make some order out of this. And now we go to blue. I'm going to say we know there's another E here somewhere. We can't have a word with just an E floating at the end. So we've got to have an E. And we've got to have an N. And we've got to have at least one S. And that's the only one we can exclude from any other place besides that last one. S E N. S E. Oh, now it makes sense. <laughs> Love it when a plan comes together. That's it. And we still don't have this one. But see how easy this was when I had visual cues and how stumped I was prior to that. All right. So we know on this one, there is an R here, here, or here. There is a T here, here, or here. There is an O. Is it otter? Oh, it's my favorite. It's otter. I love otters. O can go here. No, it's not otter. Forget it. It's not my favorite. All right, I better back that up. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. O could go here, or here, or here, or here. E could go here, or here, or here. What in the world? Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go O here, E here. But then, hold on, the T's and the R's aren't in that first spot. So if we don't do O here, E here, and we do something like tur, is it ooter? Oh, voter. It could be voter. I was trying to make it work with just the letters here. We only have one, two, three, four. Somehow this looks like five in my brain. I think it's voter. No. Oh, my goodness. Not only is it not voter, we can we got no greens. That's actually good because that should help us to narrow things down. I think, oh my goodness, what in the world? But there's a V. Wait a minute. Wait, there's a V in here. What? I'm so confused. How do I not see what it is? I feel like I should be able to see what it is. So now we know that the T is going to be here or here only. We know that the R is going to be here overt. Oh gosh, now I see it. Once I saw the RT, then I realized. Now I don't think it could be anything other than overt. I think if you anagram, if you change around the letters of voter, 
you're lucky to get one other word, and that is overt. Let me just double check. O can go here. V can go here. E can go here. R can go here. T can go here. I'm going for it. Oh, it didn't go. Is that a sign that I maybe did the wrong thing? I don't think it could be. The O can't go here or here. It's not working. I'm going to try it again. There we go. All right, got it done. I was so scared on that last one, and I was so sure it was voter to begin with. All right, that is it for me. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.